Hello friends, I am Dr. Bipin Batra, Executive Director, National Board of Examinations. As you are aware that uh, the NEET has been introduced for admission to all postgraduate and super speciality programs in the country by way of uh, an amendment to the Indian Medical Council Act. That's really a good news because NEET has been granted a statutory status and no course, no admission in the country can take place without the candidate being NEET qualified and the merit of NEET being the only consideration. So friends, NEET super speciality shall be for admission to the DM and MCH programs at all institutions in the country which are covered as per the scope of Indian Medical Council Act duly amended. The institutions which are out of the purview of IMC Act namely the All India Institute of Medical Sciences New Delhi, the PGI MER Chandigarh, Sri Chitra Trinol Institute Trivandrum, the Nimhans at Bangalore and Jipmer Puducherry are the institutions which have their own st central statutory enactment which means they have their uh, origins from an act of parliament and they are exempt from the Indian Medical Council Act. So all the DMMCH seats at these institutions shall be exempt and remaining all seats which are at uh, autonomous institutions, at medical institutions owned and controlled by the state government, at medical institution under the armed forces or uh, medical institutions which are either constituent of private universities or deemed universities shall have to mandatorily take admissions through the NEED super speciality. The NEED super speciality examination shall be conducted in the second week of June every year. The result for the NEED super speciality shall be published in the month of July every year and as per the counselling scheme prescribed, the first round of counselling shall take place in the last week of July and followed by the second and which is uh, the last round as well uh, in the month of August every year. So between the uh, quarter of June, July and August, the entrance examination, the declaration of result and conduct of two rounds of counselling shall be completed every year. Friends, there shall be no interview or any subsequent skill test uh, after the NEED super speciality. Uh, the merit and the percentile rank obtained in the NEED super speciality shall be the final for determination of merit and participation in counselling. As per the orders of Honourable Supreme Court of India, there are no uh, reservation also of any kind for the super speciality programs. The eligibility qualifications shall be as per the matrix which is there in the postgraduate regulations which are notified by the Medical Council of India with prior approval of the Government of India. And, uh, this uh, PG regulations prescribes the entry level qualifications for every super speciality program. So where, whatever has been prescribed as part of uh, those regulations will be applicable uh, for the eligible qualifications to that particular super speciality area. So if a MD pediatrics candidate is eligible to pursue say a DM adult nephrology, DM cardiology, DM neurology or any other course as per the regulations then he or she shall be eligible for that particular discipline. Now what are the key things which are there in the NEED super speciality? Friends, the pattern of examination, there will be a question paper in every discipline which constitutes an entry level qualification. Now what does that mean? Say the discipline of pediatrics is there. So there will be a question paper in pediatrics which will be uh, at the level of MD exit level of pediatrics which means any candidate who uh, has qualified MD pediatrics should be able to answer the question. The curriculum for the same shall be the same as that of MD pediatrics curriculum. MD medicine, same thing will apply for MD medicine. The level of exam will be of MD exit and the curriculum will be that of MD internal medicine and so on. So if there are uh, as many uh, entry level disciplines, there will be entries as many entry level question papers. Now what is the entry criteria for various qualifications? There is a minimum prescribed eligibility for entry to the DM and MCH programs. The same is as per the uh, regulations which are notified by the Medical Council of India and uh, duly adopted and uh, by the various universities and medical institutions. These regulations are duly approved by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India. Now for many programs, uh, say cardiology or neurology, we have uh, multiple entry level qualifications. For the discipline of cardiology, we have uh, respiratory medicine, pediatrics, internal medicine. So MD in any of these disciplines is eligible for entry to the cardiology. So these uh, candidates uh, have to write a question paper in their own discipline and obtain their own percentile All India rank for entry to whichever course they deem it is appropriate 
uh, once the results are declared, they will be given out uh, a result letter and a certificate uh, be on the basis of which they can apply to various counseling conducting authorities that at, may be at the state level, that may be at the university level. So based on their merit, they will be able to uh, participate in the counseling and seek a discipline of their choice. Now, what is the advantage this system uh, offers? Friends, we have been conducting the national level super speciality examinations for the DNB program for almost a decade now. We have uh, conducted a speciality specific uh, entrance examination almost a decade ago and we found that many of the candidates were logged by opting a particular discipline if they opted for say uh, cardiology and subsequently at the time of counseling they found that uh, they are uh, not wanting to join cardiology but they would join neurology or gastroenterology or rheumatology or endocrinology or any other discipline which is available to them they are logged for practically because they have filled up their form and logged themselves in cardiology the net result is in such a diverse system across the country where the choices of uh, discipline one MD internal medicine and this is just an example one MD internal medicine is eligible for uh, 10 or 12 disciplines in subspeciality or super speciality similarly the one MD uh, candidate is eligible to participate in counseling conducted by so many institutions so in such a complex matrix uh, it is there are high chances that the number of seats will go vacant or wasted if uh, such a scheme is to be adopted so as per the current scheme based on the eligibility criteria every candidate will get a very high and uh, reasonable opportunity and optimum level of opportunity to pursue uh, sub speciality or super speciality not only of their choice but also of availability as per their appropriate rank and eligibility criteria the application forms for the need super speciality shall be online the examination shall be conducted in the second week of june the application forms for the online application form and registration for the examination is likely to begin in the month of april 2017 the thrust of the questions uh, asked shall be more on applied clinical knowledge rather than rote memory or rote learning alone so it's not like what you have learned from the textbooks how we have applied that knowledge the applied clinical knowledge uh, in the wards in the bedsides in the patient care settings is also equally important and very very relevant so cons uh, please ensure that uh, your consistency of learning is maintained try to cover up your curriculum by the end of your second year or early part of your final year so that the last 9 to 10 months or 30 percent of your residual training you are able to recap and uh, you are able to spend more time effectively applying your knowledge which you have gained over the initial part of your residency training. I am sure that uh, with the increased number of seats available for pursuing super speciality programs in the country, both through the DMMCH as well as the DNB programs, every postgraduate in the country uh, sh stands uh, an equal chance of pursuing a super speciality of their choice and possibly at an institution of their choice. I wish all the aspirants for need super speciality uh, the very best of their performance and uh, i would strongly recommend all the participants to keep following delhi knowledge track for latest updates on education on entrance examinations and uh, leadership and uh, knowledge building